Hey guys, and welcome to What's Up Jude. Hey guys. Hi. And welcome to the second episode of What's Up Jude. So today we're going to talk about relationship and friendship. And the definition of a relationship and friendship is the way in which two or more people or things are connected or the state of being connected. So we wanted to talk about that because um, I, we thought that relationship and friendship could be as powerful as, the tri- as destructive. And depending of who you are, like if you are an introvert or an extrovert, you, could be, you, could be, you, you can see di- fri- friendship and relationship differently. So we thought that make a whole podcast about it will be great because we have a lot yeah. to say. So I'm going to start. And then Leslie is going to follow. We're going to start with our definition and experiences. So personally, I think um, a friendship is something that goes in the both way. You have to give, but the other person has to take and also give. Because it's not going to work it if you don't give it and take it back. So I don't know what you think about it, Leslie. And... How would you describe your ability to maintain a friendship or a relationship, especially in these times? Uh, Well, yes, um, 2020 is a weird year, especially for a relationship, um, friendship too. But um, as you said, Alex, um, I totally agree with you because you can't be a witness in a relationship. You have to share, to do something for others because they will not do it for you um i need to i need to say something about that too because i think um nowadays some people depend a little too much on their friendships sometimes to the point of getting lost and don't know really who they are Mm. um so they depend of relationship more than themselves so okay so it's normal to keep your friends by your side to share experience with them but just don't forget yourself because um taking care of yourself also means taking care of the quality uh, of your um relationships and it's especially the case during this year you know you don't have to respond to a message uh, in the next minute you know just take take a minute take a you know, do do yes do do what you have to do and it's normal you know you don't have to justify yeah um alex have you ever experienced hardship hard relationship um that i had an impact on your relationship yeah well on your (laughs) uh, mental health um maybe during this past few months or when you were younger okay so as far as i as far as i remember i have never experienced a real hardship but only little fights and disagreement and since i was not that confident and mature um now this thing did this thing did um did affect my feelings mm-hmm. um honestly i do remember feeling completely out of the box and even now i was just mm. just like everyone i was um just like everyone was avoiding me um and i knew that something was going on but no one would ever talk about me about the thing that would bother them so mm-hmm. um when I talk about about it dif- directly, like I ask the people, excuse me, do you have a problem with me? Uh, what is the the thing that is, you know, tearing us apart? Um, yeah. Immediately, the people start to talk and everything went well. So I think you need to talk about what is bothering you, even if this is your best friend, you know, and especially mm. this past few months, um, I feel like I haven't been the best friend because I've been, that's true. That's true. Like, like I've been, um, really, you know, taking care of my mental health, taking care of myself and 
mainly focused on myself, but um, I know that I need to go and talk to people, ask them how they are, you know, and um, why I haven't been the best friend is because like I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired of trying. Mm -hmm. And as we said earlier, a friendship is something that that has to go in the both ways. So mm -hmm. recently, you know, I've been going and asking people more about mm -hmm. themselves mm -hmm. to try. Can I say something? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I think also that this uh, lockdown situation, lockdowns because it's yeah. the second <laughs> one. Uh, <laughs> it's really hard for our mental health. So you, it's okay to take back um, of on yourself. Yeah. Uh, and I think, yeah, because I've got the same um, feeling that I'm not the best friend that I, <clears throat> sorry, that I should uh, be. But uh, I think that's, you know, maybe when we are going to be free again, yeah. um, you know, it's going to be better. So, like but I, I agree yeah. with you with the fact that um, people, you know, you send message to people, they, they respond and then a few weeks later, you don't have any news. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to not talk every day, but, you know... It's... Yeah, sometimes it can like hurt your feelings. Yeah, like because you want to take care of the person, and then the person doesn't give a you know yeah. shit about mm. you. So. <laughs> so yeah, so um, the COVID situation, as you <clears throat> you were saying, uh, mm. did affect a lot relationship and friendship, and in the way like we had to limit our social contacts and. Now people are only doing little talks. So what is a little talk for us? It's just, you know, asking superficial questions and not going into the details and really knowing how truly the person is feeling. Like, how are you really? Like, I want to know, I want to know what you're feeling inside, what you are thinking, because mm. as we said, um, mental health is a big thing, especially in this time. So. Do you have anything to say about that, Leslie? Um, well, um, I think that this year I had to take a break of all this. It's weird. I have to take <laughs> a break of all this word um, because everything need, need to go fast to you know, you have to be productive, you have to be, yeah, you have to, to exercise, to eat healthy, to, you have some uh, rules, some society rules, and I need to take a break. Um, and so, um, I just want to say, I want to take a break. You know, oh, well, how can I say that? Um, people when they they see uh, their friends uh well not everybody but um some people you know they just feel um motivated again yeah. they want to do everything they well it's not my case <laughs> <laughs> i i just feel i'm i'm tired you know that was cool to be with my friends but now i just need some rest and be you on know, your, focus on, on your yes own. Ex exactly um and it's part of my um how can i say that processes to yeah, process. to yeah to do homework to create project to it's it's part of that of that um for example if i'm if i go out with a friend like you <laughs> uh yeah. like just after when i yeah. come home i need to be with myself with uh, during a few hours uh so i just do not respond to any message like i um, can just, understand that because yeah. i feel like I'm because the same <laughs> yeah because i feel like uh being uh with someone 
is an effort. I don't know if you get it, but um, like you give all your you give all your yeah. self, you give all your energy to this person, and then you exactly. you like take back this energy, yeah. curl again, yeah. So I don't I I don't have trouble in trouble maintaining contact with my friend with my friends <laughs> during um, the pandemic because you know it's better for me it suits me better um, yes because as I said before I'm really the type of person who needs to take care of themselves to take care of their loved ones it's the same with my family um, because if I'm in a bad mood I can't share good things yeah, obviously totally. uh, with people and then I blame myself for not yeah. enjoying the moment so you know it's it's a, a circle it's, like yeah exactly I can really understand <laughs> what you wanted to say because um I know that when I don't feel right in my in my head I'm not yeah. going to hear a good thing so again mm -hmm. listeners if you want to decline plans it is okay just know that it's that it is okay and you you don't have to you know tell oh i'm uh, i'm too tired or yeah. I, I have work to do just don't tell them just <laughs> say, i don't want to go out that's it <laughs> like, yeah that's simple because yeah. if you want to try and if you're going to take and um, take and say lies it's not going to work like yeah you have to tell the truth to your friends and mm. They're going to understand if they are really your friend, they're not going to blame you. And again, if people blame you and tell you something, oh no, you should go out more because like, you know, you've yeah. been working so hard and you need to take a break and you don't want to go, just don't go. Because if taking a break for you is like watching a movie by yourself, taking care of your family, it's okay, yeah. you know, mm. and um, that's why I find I find hard in a relationship and friendship because sometimes the other people don't really understand your point of view and yeah. um, in my friendship I've been not a victim you know but I've experienced these things and mm -hmm. um, the fact that I experienced this thing makes me want to you know not go out more because mm -hmm. I feel like people don't really understand me so I'm like okay if they don't gonna understand my point of view i'm going to stay home with my family and you know people that understand me so mm. yeah but um that does not mean uh, for people who are listening that does not mean that um we never send messages yeah and that we never go out you know it's just a balance to find uh for yourself and for your mental health um for example, what I love the most is unexpected messages. Um, yeah, that's so cool. I think it's the I, I think it's the most effective way to show that you care about someone. For example, um, if I know that uh, you, Alex, um, yeah. have to take an, an exam, have a job interview, or anything else, I will always well. If I remember, you know, <laughs> I will always send you a note on the day um, yeah. because, you know, it's this little um, Attention. notification. Yeah, notification on your phone. And, you know, admit like, that. Oh my God. I, yeah, exactly. That's so and um, yeah, uh, because I like this kinds of words. So I'm. I'm saying that maybe it's the same for others. Um, I do appreciate yeah. Leslie. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and you do the same. I do. Yeah. So mm. taking care of your friend is, is, you know, the point number, number one. So you can mm. send little messages just like Leslie said, and it's going to light up the whole journey and whole day, you know? <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe some people w would not notice. You know, because uh, they just don't care. <laughs> but uh, for people like us, you know, we are we appreciate um, the details. Like, oh my God, they they remember that uh, I had an exam or 
you know. Especially if this, for example, this job interview is really important for you. Mm. You really want to get the job. The fact that someone is just supporting you is really yeah. kind. Like, yeah. Especially like for the holidays, don't, you know, also try to text people like Merry Christmas, you know, just little mm. attention make yeah. people feeling better. So, yeah. Yes. Now let's talk about social media. Oh my God, social media. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, in my opinion, I think we have the great opportunity to just send a message on Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger, or whatever, <laughs> just to be in touch with your friends. So, I mean, it's less complicated to talk to anyone than before. You know, our parents used to meet at the same time, the same day, or call each other. But, you know, they didn't go to their room to be quiet, for example. They had to stay in the living room because of the yeah. phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, however, so this is a great opportunity. But um, the problem with uh, social media is that we see stories, snapshot pictures, uh, and so on, and we think um, we know everything about this person. Yeah. Um, we don't look forward to knowing how your friend is going and how he feels or she feels. Um, I really think that if your relationships are based on what you see on social media, they are in a way not true. Yeah. Because we all know that we choose what we want to share. Exactly. Um, so, you know, it's a basic relationship. It's like, hi, how are you? Finding you? Again, okay. little talk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Talks. Um, that's why, oh my God, sorry. <laughs> that's why I made um, a social detox for Talk three about months. It. That was very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, just after my um my job, my summer job, I need just to take a break because it was really a hard, uh, hard time for me. So I just made a social detox for three months. Well, at the beginning, I didn't know that it was for three months. I just say, okay, just to take a social detox. Uh, it was for 10 days because I went to, um, I went on holidays with my mom. So I just say, okay, it's, let's, let's just enjoy the moment. Yeah. Um, so I needed to go away from this fake word um, and be connected again with, peop with yeah. people I and care yourself. about. Yeah. And it's, it's better because when you come back to social media, so at the end of October, I just feel better. And now I know how to take... Um, a step back of yeah. uh, and for example in yeah. instagram yeah for example uh, have a step back from instagram because it's um my only social media <laughs> um and it's not maybe not the perfect one um so yeah alex what is your relation with social media do you okay. feel it's the perfect way to increase your relationship? So first of all, I totally agree with what you said and how you see social media. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so I honestly love social media, okay? I'm not going to lie <laughs> here. I love social media. I love IG. Uh, mm -hmm. Why? Because uh, as I told you in the first episode, so if you didn't like, listen to it, go. Um, <laughs> I love music. And, you know, social media is a great place for music and discover new artists. Yeah. That's what we love, okay? Yeah. <laughs> um, the fact that we can stay in touch, that I can stay in touch with the artists that I, that I like, is really cool. Yeah. Um, however, um, I do think social media are toxic. Um, and as you said, the, we, saw, we see the stories of everyone, and sometimes it can be a little overwhelming. Uh, yes. I did again experience this thing, so I'm going to share it here, guys. Um, so I would say, when you see someone's stories, um, 
And I don't know, they're doing something really cool. They're going to do a photo shoot. They're going in those countries. And you're here in your room. You're like, oh my God, I'm really doing nothing with my life. And sometimes, yes. uh, well, not sometimes, I'm cle I clearly say this, this sentence maybe three, three times a week because I do feel like my life is boring. Like when I see people doing things, I'm like, oh no, what am I doing yes. with my life? But it's just that I'm not sharing all the moments and they are choosing their, they are choosing what they want to, you know, show. So yes. I would say that social media, um, in one hand is something cool to, you know, discover people and even meet new people, but it can be toxic for your relationship and mm. friendship. Yeah. And as you said, Leslie, if you want to text someone, just send a little, you know, unexpected message and text. I don't know. Not like a random conversation on IG. Mm. Hey, how are you doing again? Um, if you want to, you know, um, grow your friendship, you have to go into the deep, like mm. you not, not the surface, you know, really get to know the mm. person. And um, I also think that social media uh, is an overthinking cycle, as I told you guys, because um, you become dependent of this thing and yes. you only try to um, resemble the person, look like them and not, how can I say that? Not try and to find yourself. Yes, and sometimes, um, well, yeah, sometimes it, it can distract yourself uh, yeah. from your uh, project or whatever you are doing. So instead of, uh, you know, work for two or three hours, you have work for five hours just because you, you were scrolling, scrolling on IG. So it's not but good to... If you know where you want to go, where you want to, what you want to do, you yes. just need, like Leslie said, to balance things. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can go on social media, but not like for four hours straight, you know. You can mm -hmm. take like one hour, one hour, sorry, a day or even two that you can, you know, split into 30 minutes each and it's okay. Mm -hmm. But um, as I said, the essence of a friendship is not going to be made by um, stories. It's going to be made like by experiences, memories. I don't know, go out, well, not now, but go out, mm. try to, you know, do a concert together. For example, Leslie and I went to a concert last year that was great. That was super cool. Mm. And we did experience, we did like enjoy the moment. Did you, Leslie? Yes, of course. <laughs> Especially <laughs> uh, when we don't, we didn't know that uh, 2020 is gonna, was gonna be like that. And I know that, Leslie, you have a question in mind. Uh, if social media was overwhelming for me, mm. why I did not take a break? Yes. Um, I tried to take a break like I did um, last year. I think yes. I tried with you like for one month or something like that. Or just one, one day. Like, you know, I can't, rem day. I can't remember because I did, I tried. So I did many tried. social detox. <laughs> and... Um, I just can't, you know, do three months straight like you did because I really do love music and... Well, I, I, I do too, you know, is you just have to... Yeah. Well, the, can I... Well, the problem with um, social media is, is that you are... Um, you, you receive many, many informations. But you can choose. And, yeah, but you know, when you made a social detox, you can choose what you want to um, search on Google. Yeah. You know, if you want to have news from, I don't know, Billie Eilish, you just type her name. Billie Eilish. That's okay. Sure, sure. And you can, you can even go on Instagram, but just her Instagram. Sure. And okay. that's okay. Yeah. You know, it's just, uh, you're not going to. Uh, go again on Instagram for hours, you know, it's just yeah. a profile of um, Billie Eilish and uh, So I just for three months I didn't you know, even on Spotify you have this um, playlist where you know 
there's always a mean to find what you want to find. That's true. So, guys. And I think uh, what's also okay. that, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that um, people who can't take a social detox, even for a week, um, they Actually, have yeah. they experienced the, the FOMO. I don't know if you know it. The FOMO is the fear of missing out. Yeah, I think I maybe have that. <laughs> yes, and so people are going on social media just, you know, in case. To, yeah, they, to get in touch. The yeah. last post or uh, the last tweet or it's okay. Twitter it's is not, weird though. It's, it's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's, it's not going to change your life. That's true. So maybe I should try to take a detox. Yeah. I don't know. For like two maybe, You know, not... not, not not Three months, but, yeah, <laughs> but uh, one week uh, per month, for example, it's gonna be cool. Yeah, because... one, that's the thing. Yes. One week yes. per month. Oh my god, maybe I'm going to start this <laughs> 2021. Oh my god. <laughs> um. So, guys, if you want to take a break, do it. Okay, it's for your mental health. It's for yourself. Mm -hmm. You have your reason, like Leslie did, and mm -hmm. maybe I'm going to. To start doing and if people around you again don't understand your point of view well I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for you guys but we do understand okay so we are with you and um i have a question leslie mm -hmm. we have different friends and we can we can have different type of friendship yeah how can you describe this those Ah, all right. Um, when I hear different types, I cannot stop thinking about the kind of evolution of friendship in our lives. Um, what I mean is that um, you do not have the same type of relationship when you're 12 yeah. than when you're 20, right? Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> However, I think that your relationship as a 12-year-old human being will impact on the rest of your life. So on your 20-year-old relationship, mm -hmm. human being relationship. <laughs> um, um, so I don't, I don't know if I'm clear, but you I, get the idea. You know, I, everything, I everything you you have experienced um, when you will it's you always have... going to affect your life now exactly yeah um for example i had experienced a toxic friendship when i was younger um so i don't want to go in details but uh the consequences of this are still affecting me and even if i'm working on on them it's gonna be here for a long time because i was young and i it was one of my first, first. real friendship you know yeah. um i just want to say also i don't know guys if you've been through a toxic relationship or if you are actually but just keep in mind that everything in this world is just a matter of time and time will do his job yes and please do not forget to ask help to Again. your parents to a friend to a teacher or just to anyone who can help you because uh you have to talk you have to talk yes. it out you have to get your your feelings out because mm. talking is the best way and i know that um you think that if you talk it's gonna be worse no but it's well it's not because can you imagine a worse uh situation that than a toxic friendship like there is not um worst you know in in, in term of friendship yeah uh, and having someone a... someone who is using you uh mistreating you sometimes yes um just talk it's the beginning of uh, the ending. And I think talking is something that we tend to forget again, uh, yes. especially uh, people, you know, young people. 
um, they want to solve problems themselves, but no, you have to talk mm. it out. Even and also, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> talk, yeah, talk, talk. I, well, um, if you guys are witness of someone who experienced a hard relationship, you know, if I, I, I think about my case, you know, if you are in, um, uh, uh you're 12 13 or even younger or maybe in high school just don't just watch don't don't just uh act. watch please act. yes exactly like i don't know just go see the person or just talk to the person who yeah, you think to. is yeah yes you act, can just in- act <laughs> act or if you act. want if you if you don't want to act, sorry, uh, just uh, go see someone and talk about this situation. Yeah. You know, to if you're um, a kid, just uh, go to uh, see your teacher and explain the situation that you see uh, during the, the break. Yeah, because... It just, yeah, it just can, can help. It can turn it into worst thing, just like a bullying, you know? And um, we don't like these things. So yeah, please talk it out. Try to help people. Don't be passive. Just be active, you know? So yeah. Yeah. I think we're good. (laughs) I'm going to maybe talk about my different type of friendship. Yeah, if you want. Um, For me, I'm going to talk about groups of people. Because um, I don't have, you know, a person like... I don't want to talk about a human being. I want to talk about a friend, a, a group of friends. So oh, yeah. um, I feel like everyone has its group of friends or, you know, four people in his, his life. Yeah. So mm-hmm. um, either they are in another country, you know, for me, mm-hmm. for me, I have one of my best of my best friend. She's in another country. Sorry. And I feel like sometimes having people not around you is better because when you're going to you know meet again is going to be way more rich in terms of experiences feelings everything (laughs) (laughs) so uh, for the group of friends um sometimes each of each of of us can be left out but again having a group is something really you have a bond you, you need to take care of, of each and every one of, pe- of the people in the group. So um, if you're not feeling like you depend, of, depend on, sorry, of a group, on a group, you need to, left, to leave, sorry. Mm. And choosing your group is like, cho- is like choosing your little family because you, you have your family, you know, that you don't choose. It's okay. Mm-hmm. And you have this group of friends. And this group of friends, you want to you wanna feel safe in it. You want to feel loved. You want to feel, um, you know. Part of it. A part of it. Yeah, this is your family. And guys, again, if you don't feel like you're, you know, you're matching with the people, just go out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you don't have to be in a group just to be in a group. Yeah. You don't have to make friends just to make friends you know if you don't match with anyone it's okay let, oh yeah let it go and <laughs> let it go <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> um, yeah. so yeah it's 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 not a, a shame to be alone you know it's especially when, yeah. especially when we are young we think you know oh my god i'm going to eat alone i'm going to mm spend the whole day alone uh, alone because my friend is sick or it's okay you know i feel like a lot of people when they're younger uh you know have this anxiety of being Mm -hmm. alone um like oh no i'm going to eat lunch alone so as you said um those little things are going to stress you out and if you don't like let it go Mm. again when you're 20 or 19 is going to stay here and yeah. I feel like 
especially in in our 20s, we need to be independent and not yes. depending of people, as we said earlier in the podcast. Yes, you are you and you are not your relationship. I, I, I don't know if I'm clear, but <laughs> you like, are you like you are enough. You can just eat be on yourself alone. Yeah. It's not like a human. And people who are you, uh, judging you, like, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> that's true, Leslie. That's, that's true because, you know, I feel like maybe our listeners did experience these things. So mm -hmm. it's great to, to talk about it. And yeah. And it's better when you eat alone because no one is here, you know, to just eat your dessert. <laughs> <laughs> You can listen to your music and really exactly. try to enjoy the moment. Yes. And I think we're going to end on this note. Enjoy the yes. moment. Enjoy yes. yourself. And don't be ashamed of yourself and of the decision that you're making. If you make, if you make decision, it's because you know what you're doing. Yes. And don't change for anyone just to be accepted by the society. Exactly. <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> so okay guys uh, we're gonna wrap this up yeah and that was really you. interesting and thank you for listening to this second episode and we're we're going to be back soon yes just take care of yourself especially during this Christmas time with um, COVID-19 yeah uh, social distancing please guys yeah because you know we all fed up so Please, 2021 is our he year. And, uh, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. To 2021. And yeah, guys. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>